Howdy, I'm Dennis Bauer. And if you're one of the 81% of Americans who have said they've always wanted to write a book, but never have, I invite you to watch the rest of this little short video to see something that I think will be valuable for you. I have written a book. In fact, I've written two. I wrote Fumes and a Prayer, How to Live at the Edge, and Still Be Home for Dinner, which went on to become a number one international bestseller. And then last year, I wrote another book, Flight Plan. It's a smaller one aimed at entrepreneurs and solopreneurs and business managers and so on. And it follows uh, an airplane theme and that and how those analogies fit different parts of business. So I've been there and I've done it. One day, I had never written a book. I went into public speaking and big time professional speakers said, you have to have a book. And I'd never written one. I didn't know how to start. I didn't know how long it would take. I didn't know what to say. Well, that's not exactly true because I did have a start on what to say. I just didn't know how to say it or put it into a book. But I researched. I spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of money actually with getting coaching and going through classes and training to find out how to do this. And this was my first book. Guess what? It didn't turn out too badly. So if you're like most people, one of the things that you're concerned about is, how do I even start this? How do I start and how do I know if I'll finish? I'm going to answer that for you in just a moment. I've also heard that uh, I, I have something that I'd like to write about, but how do I know it's going to be interesting? How do I know anybody's going to want to read it? Well, I promise you that I'm going to do another video right after this one, and you'll see it in a day or two, and I'm going to answer that, that question very precisely for you. You'll know how to make your book interesting and engaging to people. Here's the testimonial from Dr. Wendy Lee, who went through the course. She says, before the ultimate book writing course, I struggled with the practicality of wrapping my mind around the process from start to finish. And since I've taken the course, I feel like I have a very clear process, not only of the big picture start to finish, but of all those little details in the middle. How do you start any trip? It's with the first step, right? You don't start with reaching your destination. That's down the road. And the longer the trip, the more important it is to say, this is what I'm doing right now, and this is my focus and what I'm going to do. So I'll be happy to guide you through that process. Another question I get is, how do I find the time to write a book? I'm very busy. Maybe you're a mom. Maybe you've got a full-time job with that. Maybe you've got other responsibilities and things you're involved with. I did too. And I have a tool that I'll show you, I'll give it to you so that you can use it to map it out. And once you see this, it's gonna be very clear how you can start and go all the way to the finish with the time that you have. This tool I'll, I'll give to you will, it's like when you get overwhelmed with a to-do list and you get all these things floating around in your head and you start to freak out and feel panicky and overwhelmed. For me, when I do that, I get out a pad of paper and a pen and I start writing. And when I list out those things that I've got to do, that I want to get done, and I look at the page and I see them and they're all outlined and numbered, somehow that helps me relax. I feel like I'm in control of my day, of my time, of my projects. Well, this tool is going to help you do that with writing. So again, if you've ever thought about writing, I want to encourage you to listen on to this video and the next one, because I want to tell you that if you want to, you can. You might just need the tools. You might just need the reason. You might need to understand a few things that I can help you with in the Ultimate Book Writing Guide course online. Back to the question about how to be engaging and interesting, if you possibly can. We're talking about nonfiction books here. So it's a whole different world to write a fiction book and create your characters and your settings and everything that pulls your audience in. Some of the principles apply to what I'm going to teach you in this little tiny segment here, which we go into a lot more in the course, about stories. Stories to me are the sine qua non. That's Latin for that without which nothing. You don't have anything but a report if, unless you add a story to it. That's true in sales. It's true in your 
nonfiction books, it's, it's true. When you're just giving a speech or in conversations, stories matter. And if you think about the stories that matter to you, what do they have in common? Well, in the segment that I teach on storytelling, I divide that into 10 segments. It's not a sequence of things. That's a different, uh, we'll talk about sequence and how to put it together. But in story, you need to have what I call spice track, S-P-I-C-E, spice track, T-R-A-Q-C. So that's, this is how it goes, and I'm just going to get you started on it. The S in spice is for setting. Every story has to have some setting. The bigger the story, maybe the bigger the setting. But do you notice how when a movie starts or a TV show even, what's the first scene they show? Almost always. It's the big picture, right? It's the vehicles crossing the bridge, cross the river into town. It's the big country. It's the barn. It's the car. It's whatever... Wherever the setting is going to take place, most of the time, they start there. So, so start with defining your setting. Uh, what does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? What does it feel like, maybe? Is that the wood on that barn, is it rough? Is it smoothly painted? What's the weather like? Is it rainy? Is it a dark and stormy night on a lonely road in London? And it's raining and you're wet and you don't know which direction you're going. There's a scene. The P in Spice Track is for people. These are the characters. You'll have a main character and you're some supporting characters, whoever is involved in it. Just list out who are the people involved with this and then something about them. And then what are they after? What's their goal? What's their everyday life like? In Indiana Jones, we start off, in, in the first movie, we start off seeing him in a jungle in South America, and he's after that golden idol, and he goes into the cave, and you know the story. He finally finds it, and he's got to have a bag of sand that weighs the same as the idol, and he quickly removes the idol and puts the sand on there, thinking that's going to work. You know how that goes. It doesn't, right? What did that first part have to do with it? It has nothing at all to do with the rest of the story in that movie, except for two things. We find out about the character of Indiana Jones. He's an adventurer. He's got a cool hat. He wears a gun. He's good with a whip, and he hates snakes. And we meet the man who's going to be his nemesis and his arch rival through the whole story. But other than that, it doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the story. So we start then. The real story starts where he's the archaeology professor, and it's a boring thing. And most of the time, stories start with a character in just their normal, everyday life like that. And then something happens. So we have the setting. We have people. We have I is the inciting incident. This is the incident that starts the ball rolling for the story. In Indiana Jones, it's when the two government men come in and tell him that the uh, Nazis think they've found the location of the Lost Ark of the Covenant, which would be a treasure for... Uh, Indiana Jones's museum, and he would like to find it first. The incident that where those two men come and talk to them starts the ball rolling and takes him out of his everyday life as an archaeology professor. That's the inciting incident. S-P-I, setting people, inciting incident. C is for conflict. If a character is not facing conflict, something that's difficult and eventually not even sure he's going to overcome or she's going to overcome in the story, you don't engage. You just have a report. But think about the stories you've seen, the stories you've read and loved, and what happens in there is what that character has to face, the conflict, the hurdle they have to get over. Something happens that they that knocks them back. And then... The E is escalating conflict. S, setting. P, people. I, inciting incident. C is the conflict. And E is escalating conflict. It keeps getting worse and worse until in the story, it just seems like they're not going to get out of this one. Escalating conflict. That's the spice in Spice Track. If you'd like to know more, there's a lot more. And we're going to spend uh, over an hour just on that in the Ultimate Book Writing Guide. But just a little bit of information. I hope you took notes. Spice, I'll put it on here for you. Spice track. How do I start a book is a common question I hear. How do I even know where to start? Well, you may not start the book actually where, where uh, it's going to end up being page one. But 
Here's how I would start. If I were you, this is what I suggest you do. Start with a story. Just write a story related to what you want to write about, of course, but it doesn't have to even end up in the book. It probably will. It might be the theme story. Like I have one story, that, a flying story that is the thread through the whole book. There's a lot more to it than that. But if you write just one story, an anecdote or something that has the, the setting, people, inciting incident, the crisis, a conflict, and the escalating conflict, and so on, will tell you how to go from there. But if you get that part down, just start writing. I hear so many people uh, say, you know, I've always wanted to write a book. And I say, there's only one reason you haven't. It's called page one. <laughs> yeah, write page one. So I suggest you just start with a story and don't wor worry about destination or anything else you're going to add. If you think of things along the way while you're writing, sure, have, have, your, uh, have your journal, your notebook ready and write those ideas down so you can come back to them. Just write a story, beginning to end, simple story. Or it can be complicated, but just write the story. That's where I suggest you start. That'll get the ball rolling. Now, I'm going to give you another short video uh, in a day or two. So watch for that. And in that one, I'm going to show you how to time out and pace your, pace your time, pace yourself in this writing project. And I'll give you that tool that we use to plan out your writing and your schedule so that in the end, it will work for you. If you've been worried about how much time it's going to take, you don't have time to do it, don't want you to worry about that. But I believe that if you want to write a book and if you only had the tools to do it with, and the motivation and the motive, the reason for writing it, you'll find the time. It might take you a year, two years. I get ads every once in a while saying, write your book this week, in the, over the weekend. Write your book by the end of the month. And I'm thinking, that's a little bit, that's promising a lot. And I'm not sure what kind of book you'd have if you tried to write it that fast. So let's be realistic. Next video, I'll show you the timeline and how to plan this out, the tool that I give to use that. Finally, I invite you to leave a comment below. If that was helpful, the spice part of Spice Track, did you get anything out of that? Was that good? Can you see how you could use that to write your story? Leave a comment. Do you have a story even? Yes or no? Do you have a story? Yes, I have a story. No, I don't have one yet. Could you some help with that? Write that in the comment down below, would you please? And then if you have a question about anything we've talked about or anything we haven't talked about, how do I start? Uh, where do I start? Um, I've got these, this situation going. What do you suggest? Any questions you've got about how to get your book that you have inside you out to the public. So I'll tell you something. It's a really great feeling to have Amazon deliver a box on your doorstep. You bring it in, open it up, and here's a box full of something that you created. It'll be a legacy to the world because you got out of that 81% and actually did it. That'll be a great feeling. I'd like to see you at that finish line, in fact. So for now, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments below. Bye.